to see Danny Jansen, who was at the plate to end the first. He takes a fastball for a strike on the outside corner. It's right around where he'll settle for most of the night. He'll one breaking ball in the back door. Beauty looks like he's got the feel for that. Too. And one misses a little bit low. Maybe a change up, maybe from the right side. Loops it over the head of the shortstop into left field. That is a base hit. Now De La Guerra raced back after that thing, but Jansen got enough on it. And for the first time in a couple innings, the Bisons have the leadoff man aboard ahead of Reese. We're reading programs, and it's really something that we're just trying to drive home to encourage reading. It's important, and especially this. Jalen Beeks with a 1 0 pitch. Jensen takes it high. It's 2 0. Do you find Danielle that these. Enjoy days? that, but it's something where you got to get back to just the love of having a book in your hand. You know. Well, now the count on Jensen. Here's the pitch. Pass ball over the inside corner. 2 and 2. I did find 2 and 2. So Les leads from first, and Jensen just gets it. He swings and fouls it back. Doesn't matter what. Matter. He's down there in the sand someplace. Um, he probably reading the program. He, he <laughs> might be reading. Yes, he's probably <laughs> reading the or a hot chocolate. Three and two, and a fastball misses down and into Jansen from Beeks. Well, close pitches, but ball four, and that's only the second walk from Jalen. Jansen and McGuire. Danny Jansen, first of those, takes ball one. They bat fifth. One out, the 1-0 pitch, fastball of beauty, paints the outside corner at 97 on the gun again. I'm gonna bring a thermometer tomorrow. Pitches outside, two and one. Two and one on Jansen. Butchery's pitch is low. Three and one, and stops hit well over 300. Three one pitch, strike. Fastball right around the knees over the Jays. outside. Three two pitch, swung on, drilled deep to left field, way, way back, Barfield just watching. That one sails up over the bullpen, off the advertising panels, goodbye. And that's why he's such a can't miss catching prospect. Big bat for young Danny Jansen. And his solo home run doubles the lead. It's three to one, Bisons here in the sixth. Second inning in a row. That's a long solo home run hit against Butchery. And will that left it's vapor trails as it made its way out on this chilly night. So 6-3, and they're two down for Danny Jansen, who homered his last time. He's had a big night. Get into those extra inning situations. A one. Change up, ripped to the left field, starting in Barfield. Now he'll head back, and the step in doomed him. It's over his head and to the wall, and Danny Jansen has a two-out double. Man, his third hit of the night. He's a triple away from the cycle, and there's something about this ballpark and Danny Jansen. Three He's for been three. On base four times. Runner at second, the pitch. No bunt shown, and a fastball's in at the knees. 0-1 on Richard. Danny Jansen. He's got a homer pitch swinging a high fly ball deep into right center field on the run is Castillo back over his head it lands off the warning track and Jansen's done it again oh the runner is held at third but Danny Jansen the batter never saw that throw comes to the plate Buffalo's got two men standing on third Ivanda Jesus gets the throw from the catcher Ullman tags both of them out but eventually they're going to call the batter out because the runner Telez was there first and Josh, he would have hit for the cycle if Telez went. Yes, indeed, it would have been a triple.